Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about axiomatic approach to probability. So what is axiomatic approach students? It is just, it is another way of describing probability of an event. Describing probability of an event. In this approach, some axioms or in this approach, in this approach, some axioms or rules are depicted to assign probabilities okay so let's say let s be simple space of some random experiment so the probability p is a real valued function which lie between probability of event is greater than zero for any event and probability of sample space is one students and if two events are let's say e and f are two mutually exclusive events so P E union F will be equals to P E plus P F because P E intersection F will be zero in that case. Okay. So and the probability always lie between zero to one. Okay. That is the range of the probability is in closed bracket zero to one. Okay, students. So let's discuss and what is the probability of an event? Students, let us discuss now probability of any event. So let, let me give you one example on this. Let S be sample space associated with the experiment, with the experiment examining three consecutive pens examining three consecutive pens okay produced by a machine by a machine okay so it can be the good or it can be the bad okay so the sample space of examining three pens first pen is uh, let's say good 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 all the three pens good good bad good bad good bad good 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 bad 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 good bad 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 good and all bad so this is the sample space students if all the pens are good so it is ggg first two pens are good and another third one is bad so it is ggb okay so gbg good bad good bad good good accordingly okay so now we can find out the probability of any event so let's say a is given to as bgg there is exactly one defective pen okay means one B only. Here it is 1B, here 1B, here 1B. In all these two Bs are there. G, B, G and B, G, G. Uh, B, G, G is already counted. So it is G, G, B. Okay. So the probability of A will be 3 by 8. 3 here and 8 events are the in their in sample space. So it is 3 by 8. So this is how we can calculate the probability of any event. Okay. 
so i hope students now you know what are equally likely events the probability of equally likely events are equal okay so we have discussed now till now each and everything and in the next lecture students we will discuss some questions based on probability okay that is very important part to do the questions uh, when after reading the concepts so stay tuned for my next lecture on some questions based on probability okay so there we will discuss about each and every event that we have discussed in detail okay so happy learning students stay blessed